This is Alan from Wakanda Man at YouTube with a fairly special event. This is an engine run of a B-24 Liberator at the Aviation Museum in Werribee, Australia. This content is fairly different from my usual videos. Just to fill in some information for my regulars, the B-24 is a bomber from World War II and this one was flown by the Royal Australian Air Force. This American made aircraft would have four of these engines underneath its wings, two on each side. For more pictures and footage of the Liberator restoration project, please check out my Bayonet military model competition video. Just for those who haven't heard it run before, it does blow a lot of oil when it starts, so it might get too far in it. We started with an inertia starter, which is a small flywheel, very dense. It spins up, when it gets enough revs up, we then uh, engage it with a solenoid with a dog clutch that then hits the motor and starts turning it over. But the problem with these fuel injected carburetors, they had the, the uh, gas supplied at uh, 15 pounds per square inch in the jets at the base of the carburetor. And the idea of that was by having it come in under pressure, you don't get ice into the carburetor. Whereas if you have one running on depression sucking the fuel out through a jet, that's when you get icy. But the problem with this is, to start the engine, you've got to have a depression in the manifold. You don't get the depression until you get fuel in the manifold, and that depression, when you do get it, opens a valve that allows the fuel to flow down to these little jets. So what you have to do to start is put raw fuel into the uh, supercharger, keep it turning until that fuel gets flung into the motor. Once the motor starts to get a depression in the manifold, it pulls on a diaphragm that opens up a valve and lets the fuel flow properly. So it just takes a little bit of uh, finesse to start it. Uh, we did start this morning, so I pulled the engine this afternoon. The other thing is, if you give them too much fuel, uh, it comes out of the exhaust with the oil, as you can see, dripping out now, uh, and it'll catch fire. That's stripping out of there because we've just turned the problem through two turns, two complete turns. There's been oil that has, has come down and it lodges in the bottom cylinders. And if you start it with that oil in there, it'll just blow the heads off. But the reverse of that is it's going to smoke. And hopefully not catch fire. Because our, there's our fire brigade over there. And there's the fire brigade. What are you doing hiding over there? Because you can go up upstairs here. <laughs>
He's waiting to do that. You knew that was coming, you'd wait and see how much fuel did that use there. How much fuel did that use for that?